Good morning, my lovely girls. Oh, boys. <laughs> uh, so today I have got an infill on a friend. Um, her nails have been on for nearly five weeks. So it's just like a redesign what she's having. And she's gone for the Valentine's look. So I've took back all the lifting. Um, formed a couple of nails that had broken. Uh, and my usual prep work. Dehydrator. Primer. And on the point finger there, I've just gone in with a glitter mix with some little silver love arts in. And I will be coming back to that one. And on this finger, I'm going in with Black Magic by CJP. <coughs> um, and I started at the cuticle and worked the way down as I am going in with a glitter fade from the tip up. I'm not 100% where I got these glitters from. The glitter that I'm using is from the Glitter Fairy called Ruby. I will double check and leave it in the description box for you to have a look at. It's such a nice glitter though. But I'll double check. Once that's all set, I will go in and cap later with the rest of the nails. <clears throat> uh, going on, on this finger, I've just picked up, I've just double dipped with Black Magic and Vamp, both by CJP as I'm going to go in and do a marble. I also used birthday suit for the marble as well, just to break the colours up a little. So I don't know about anybody else, but I'm glad it's Wednesday. But I have got a big busy weekend coming with work. So I should look forward to that I guess. I think them colours marble really nice together. I have left a clip at the end of the marble nail because I just think it looked so nice. I love how marble looks a complete mess until it's finished and you've capped it. I do go in with some of that glitter into the marble as well. Don't rush with the marble, take your time. Because if you play with it too much, it will just end up being a big mess, just like mushed together, and you'd not get that marble effect. <sighs> oh dear, I'm tired today. Oh, and the brush I'm using is the Love by CJP. Still my favourite, and I think it'll always be my favourite. I think once you've got that brush that you love, you know, don't you? You, you don't want to change it. <clears throat> so I couldn't believe how many views I got on the last video that I posted. I didn't expect to come back with good re results like that straight away. So thank you everyone for watching and then who thumbed up, who subscribed to my channel. Thank you all. So here yeah, on this pink, I'm just going in with um, <clears throat> Black Magic again. I think I just leave this just plain black as I do the thumb as well. So after I've done all that, I then go in back onto the pointy finger and I go in with birthday suit I watched a video on YouTube the other day on 
the fade with the nude over the glitter and oh, I were obsessed with it so I thought I'd give it a go I'm just gonna have a look now whose video it was that I watched I think black is probably one of the hardest colours to work with but I do think that CJP's Black Magic is probably the easiest black I've ever used. Oh it was by Stacey Ward. The video was by Stacey Ward. Yeah she did um just a lovely pink and some little hearts and covered it up with the pink as well and I thought mm, it's getting pretty popular so I thought I'd give it a bash and it turned out really nice I was happy with it and it was the first time I'd ever done it so when I'd finished I was like I could breathe and I said to the client I honestly didn't know how that was going to turn out so I kind of winged it and she says oh I love how you've got confidence in yourself <laughs> So we had a little chuckle about that. But yeah, it turned out nice. I liked it. I think it's a nice subtle Valentine's design as well. Because she's gone for the black, I don't think it's booming your face Valentine's. But this client's one of those. She, uh, she does go with the seasons and different events that's coming up. And she was going to go for matte on this thumb and on the pinky. Now the only matte top coat I've got is uh, OPI, the gel one, and I think it's rubbish. You put it on and it peels off. So if anyone can recommend one, that would be great. So I can try a couple. And I like my matte to be really, really matte. I did try to buff over and not top coat but it still gave that little shine effect. <clears throat> so yeah when it comes to the fade or the glitter, literally just pick up your normal bead, drain it a little bit, not too much because you do want it a little bit wet so that you can cover that glitter. Just do your normal cuticle work with it. And just drag it down as if you're doing a normal ombre or baby boom or whatever you want to call it and then all you do at the end is just cap the tip of the nail but yeah i think it looks kind of cute let me know what you guys think it's always nice to have advice from other people so after all this, I do go in and cap everything and refine everything with my file. I do go in with my e file around the cuticle and then go in with <clears throat> a 150 grit file for those edges and the side walls. And I am using here Crystal Glass by CJP. I also use their top gloss. I will leave you to watch the rest of the video and thank you for watching if you do like it give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe bye